A narcissistic, alienated young men carrying social grudges with easy access to assault rifles are modern American society. That's what. And that's next. Wait. What? Easy access to guns. I, it, there's also... Welcome to my YouTube channel. One race, the human race, all human. Today is Thursday, July 7th, 2022. Blue lives matter. All human lives on this earth matter. That includes black lives. We need to make sure that we bring back the assault weapons ban from 2004, which the Republican sure. Party allowed to expire. There's no reason for AR-15s being on the streets of America. We don't need weapons of mass destruction on our streets. <laughs> In 2015, Dylan Roof killed nine black parishioners at an historic Charleston church, leaving behind a white supremacist manifesto proclaiming that, quote, someone has to have the bravery to take it to the real world. And I guess that has to be me. I have no choice, unquote. After the shooting, columnist Tom Nichols labeled Roof as a lost boy, one of the failed to launch young men who carry weighty social grudges incubated in the shame environment of social isolation and prolonged adolescence. He warned that when society breeds too many narcissistic males determined to get even with a world that denies them their due, the fame, recognition or sexual mate they think they deserve, we are all in danger. Well, that could not have been more prescient. Since then, the mass shootings have continued, many perpetrated by young men furious at a society that they feel has left them behind, motivated by racist rhetoric, hatred of women, and a fascination with violence. And while we still don't know the motive for the Highland Park shooting, it is not at all surprising that the 21-year-old gunman was steeped in some of that rhetoric, leaving behind an online trail full of violent imagery and tributes to past mass shootings. I'm joined now by Tom Nichols, contributing writer at The Atlantic. And Tom, you know, I read an old piece that you wrote years ago, that, that piece that you're talking about that I just, you know, we were just discussing, where I said, wow, th that is so prescient, it was almost like prophecy. And that is what I, I said to you. Talk a little bit about this, because we do have a demographic similarity between many, not all, but many of the mass shooters, young, white, armed with an AR-15, and angry at women and people of color and immigrants. Yeah, I, you know, I was struggling. I mean, that was seven years ago, and I was struggling back then to figure out, you know, what is common about these young men? And they're, they're all men. What's the answer? Teaching agape love, compassion, concern, one another. Jesus gives us two great commandments in Matthew chapter 22. Love God, love your neighbor as yourself. In Luke chapter 10, it gives us who's our neighbor in the Good Samaritan parable. Any person in need. All people on this planet have a right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Everyone is equal. Everyone is wonderful. And we must teach self-esteem. The oneness of all humanity. It doesn't matter your skin color or, or uh, stupid things like that. It's a quality of life for everyone. It's America. Everyone has a right to life, leave, pursuit of happiness. Everyone in the entire world. Blue lives matter. All human life on this earth matters. That includes black lives matter. Let's get rid of assault weapons. Let's protect our police, protect our citizens. Think about all those widows, for all those people who lost their lives. It's America. Life, liberty, sweet happiness. That's what it's all about. The oneness of all human beings. Thank you for my YouTube channel, One Race, Human Race, All Human. Today is Thursday, July 7th, 2022. Peace.